Hey, what's up, guys? Eli Fishman here with Talking Ball Interviews, and today I'm hanging out with Braxton Garrett, Miami Marlins prospect. Braxton, thank you so much for coming on today. No problem. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for coming on today. You started your career as the first-round pick in 2016 with the Marlins. You know, they brought you up in their organization. Just how much do they mean to you for giving you this whole opportunity? They mean a lot. Um, you know, it's been. it feels like it's been forever since the draft. Um, uh... I mean, they mean a lot. It's hard to describe. People a lot of times um, ask, you know, what it was like and what it felt like, and you just can't really put it into words. How do you think the transition has got, been, and specifically the grind, you know, of minor league baseball and, you know, getting up early, the bus trips, all that, how has that been? I love it. Um, you know, it's tough sometimes getting up and, like you said, the bus rides, but, um, you know, we play baseball for a living, and uh, that's what I dreamed of since I was born. So You're having a phenomenal season uh, this year with the Jupiter Hammerheads. 2.95 ERA. Opponents are hitting 208 off of you. What's been working for you this year? Um, my breaking ball. My breaking ball is definitely my best pitch. It gets me out of a lot of jams. Um, also, um, my two-seam. I, I brought it back this year. Um, I quit throwing it shortly after I was drafted, but I brought it back this year, and it's really helped helped out uh, getting ground balls. What other pitches do you throw? Give me a whole scouting report on yourself. So I have a four seam and a two seam fastball, um, and a curveball and a changeup. Uh, the changeup I'm working hard on. Um, that's really what I'm working on every day the most. I, I want that pitch so bad, but and it's getting a lot better. When a scout comes to watch you pitch, what do you want them to take away from your outing? Um, I just want them to think that I, I grind, you know, because we're not going to have our best stuff every day. Um, it's been a long year, and we all know, like I said, we're not going to feel great every day. But if I can still get through, you know, six, seven innings without my best stuff, I want them to see that, that I can still do it. The Marlins are in this whole rebuild process, and you being part of that group of young players that they're hoping to turn into that crop of future big league stars that will win them the World Series in the future. How special is that to be a part of that and this rebuilding organization? It's awesome. Um, all of us are excited. You know, it's not just me. We got a lot of good pieces, especially on this team. Um, you know, it, it feels nice to be part of a rebuilding team just because, you know, we feel like maybe we have a little bit better, better of a chance or maybe we can get there a little quicker. And, um, you know, I'm just excited for this whole organization that's going up really fast. Uh, the trade deadline is approaching. The Marlins are looking to mainly make some deals to buy prospects. But does, does that hit your mind at all that maybe there's at some point you could be traded or anything? No, I don't really think about it because, you know, you hear most of the time guys don't even know that they get traded until – after it's already done so you know if that ever happens it happens uh either way i'll be appreciative of them drafting me uh derek jeter is the owner and all that and i know he's very active with the farm system have you gotten to hang out with him at all um i've met him a few times um i've been to our captain's camp before spring training two years now and we had this big uh meeting with him afterwards the last day and I mean, I wouldn't say I got to hang out with them, but, you know, we got to talk a little bit. Uh, favorite team growing up and your favorite player as well? Um, growing up, I was a Red Sox fan. I know, I'm from Alabama, and people always wonder why. I was just a Boston fan. I'm a Patriots fan. I'm a Bruins fan. I don't know why, but uh, it was the Red Sox definitely. And when I was young, it was Dustin Pedroia. And then once I kind of transitioned into being, you know, just a pitcher, it was Kershaw. Um this Florida State League this year is absolutely stacked, hitting-wise. Um, at some point this year, there was a top 100 MLB prospect hitter in every single lineup. Mm -hmm. Who's one hitter that you've had the most trouble with? I faced Wander Franco uh, my last start, actually, and we were all talking about it. That kid is just hard to get out. <laughs> He's, he, uh, he fouls every good pitch off. Um, I'd say him, I'm trying to think. That's just the most recent one on my mind, but, you know, everyone knows Wander. That kid can hit. Yeah. Um, are you paying attention to, like, the prospects list at all? You know, are you reading articles about yourself? How often do you guys look at that stuff? Um, some guys are different. I don't just because you, it's not going to affect what I do on the field. The only thing, you know, they see what I do on the field, and, you know, if I'm on a prospect list or if I'm not, it doesn't really matter to me. What's your mound philosophy, and what's your mental approach to every at-bat, every pitch? Um, I'm just really, really confident in myself and my stuff. I, 
I it's hard it's hard to put into words it's just really just a mentality that I have I just believe that my stuff is going to be better than the hitter at that at bat that game and I just think the most important thing a pitcher can have is confidence that's really it if you were to be MLB commissioner for one day would you change the game at all you know what's your opinion on the current state of Major League Baseball I wouldn't change it. I, I I just don't have enough info on it. Um, I love the game the way it is. If they want to make changes, they can make changes. But you know, I love the game the way it is. Now I covered the Atlantic League, and as I'm sure you know, they're making a lot of changes. You know, you're a lefty pitcher now. Lefty pitchers have to um, step off the mound before they throw to first. Uh, you know, they're about to move the mound back. They have mm -hmm. the automatic strike zone. You know, are you, have you thought? About, have you heard about that? And also, what's your opinion on that too? Um, I've heard a little bit about the stuff going on in the Atlantic League. Um, I didn't know the lefty. Uh, yeah, uh, it, it was a couple, like a week and a half ago. Okay, like yeah, that. I haven't heard about that one. Um, but like the stealing first thing, uh, I don't know. I don't know. You know, the the strike zone maybe. I don't really have a thought on it. If they change it, anything, I'm still gonna play and just do my best. All right, man. Thank you so much for coming on today. Much appreciated. Thank you very much for having. Me.